Keeping track of incoming chats can be difficult, especially when your daily workflow involves various different online and offline tools. When you're offering chat support, notifications are crucial for getting updates on new chats and replying quickly. Fortunately, there is a way. With UserLike, you can pick from a variety of notification types that'll help you stay in the loop at all times. Browser and audio notifications, email notifications, our Slack integration, or the callback API. First, let's take a look at your options for browser and audio notifications. Browser and audio notifications are a simple, yet efficient way to let you know when a chat needs your attention, so you can stay informed about the chat events on your website, even if you're not actively looking at your chat panel or dashboard. You can configure your notification settings in your profile in the upper right corner. Then go to the Notifications tab. Here, you can decide which chat and account events you wish to receive browser or email notifications for. If you're the owner or manager of the account, we recommend enabling email notifications for the user-like system messages, so you don't miss any important user-like updates or information about your account. With browser notifications, you can set a notification for pretty much any chat event, such as when an operator goes online, when you're receiving your first message from a customer, when Chat Butler is trying to forward a chat to you, or anything else you find important. Set these up to fit your workflow. Browser notifications work best with the latest Chrome, Safari, or Firefox. Once you're finished, remember to save your settings. Browser notifications are handy indicators, but can move rather quickly. So you might miss them when it gets busy, but no worries. You can always find the last 15 notifications here under this bell. If you go to the Audio tab, you can also configure which chat events you'll want to receive for sound notifications for. Like when a web visitor goes online, or you receive a message. This can be convenient if you're currently not in the browser but still want to be notified of a chat event with an audio signal. Besides your profile, you can also find the notification setup in the chat panel. Just go to Settings, and enable the events for which you wish to receive notifications. What you set either in your profile or here in the chat panel will automatically carry over. Another way of notifying you about a chat is the inactivity timer. When your chat hasn't been answered in the timeout range, the timer will change to red as well as offer audio feedback to the operator. All you have to do is set a timeout. A timeout of 30 seconds is reasonable. And enable the audio. You can also customize your notification setup per widget. For example, if you're the owner or manager of the account, you can easily set up an agent's notification a certain way before they begin chatting. To do so, head to Config, Widgets in the dashboard, select your widget, and go to Notifications. This is a more general setup than the one we've seen before. It allows you to enable or disable browser as well as add-on notifications. The other side of the coin. Your web visitors may not hang around in the chat throughout the whole chat session. To notify them of activities happening in the chat, you can also configure the notifications they'll receive. In the widget editor under Chat Advanced, you're able to set on which occasions your web visitor will receive audio notifications. For example, whenever your web visitor receives a chat message or sends one herself. For more silent setup, you can choose only to send sound notifications for messages received when your web visitor is inactive. That is, when the chat window is minimized or in another browser tab. If you enable favicons, a message bubble will display incoming chat message in your web visitor's browser tab. The downside of browser and audio notifications is that they're only there for a short period of time. So, if you're currently not at your computer while they pop up, you'll miss out on them. That's why besides browser and audio notifications, you can also use one of our following add-on notification workflows. With our email ticket integration, you can receive notifications to your predefined email address. In the dashboard, go to the add-on settings and then select email ticket. Enter up to three email addresses separated by commas that should receive the ticket. To keep track of incoming chats, just check the setting Automatic Emails for Chats. This is also available for offline messages. You can subscribe to a set of operator, chat, and widget events for which you'll receive an email with a file attached. If you're using ChatButler, our simple chatbot that automatically responds to the chat requests when you're not available, you can enable email notifications here for when he's trying to forward a chat to you. Slack is a team collaboration tool for private and group chats. 
It's also useful for receiving notifications, since Slack offers apps for all major platforms, both desktop and mobile. You can easily integrate our Slack add-on with your channels to receive notifications on incoming chat requests there for you and your whole team to see. Head to Config and select Add-on Settings. Then click the slider icon on the right of your Slack add-on. Then enter your webhook URL. This is the URL given by Slack after you've installed the user-like integration on Slack. Like with the email ticket add-on, you can configure your notification setup so it fits into your workflow best. Our chat butler and Slack go together like cookies and milk. It's our favorite notifications use case for the chat butler. If you're using Slack in your company, most of your team members will be online here anyway. Better than with email, you'll be notified instantly in Slack and can move quickly to answer the chat the chat butler's holding for you. Now on to a more advanced notification setup, which gives you the most flexibility. With our callback API, you can provide a callback URL to receive user-like chat notifications wherever you need them. User-like will call this URL every time one of the configured events occurs, providing all data related to this event. This means that you or your development team can display or store user-like chat notifications in any system that you have access to be it a legacy CRM or your own custom notification system. To enable your notifications using the callback API, first go to the add-on section and select the API configuration option. Like with the workflows mentioned earlier, you can enable automatic tickets as well as different chat events. There are many options to notify you of what's happening with your live chat, so you can create a notifications workflow that fits your needs best. That's it for our notifications overview. Thanks for watching and happy chatting.